Hello, brothers, sisters, friends. Welcome to another Coffee Moments with the Father. Hope you are starting off your new year great. I'm sure as you start your new year with your new year resolutions, with your plans, your your you know ideas that and goals that you set for before God, you probably already face some challenges, difficulties, hardship that that shows up, right? I mean, that's, that's common. Where every time you want to start something good, there will be something that goes against us. But that's the fun. Okay, that's the excitement to be able to overcome these challenges that, that is ahead of us through God's strength. And I already talked about the last week, if you remember, our greatest desire. I hope that is in your heart. You have put the law of God within your heart. And that this year, you really desire to do God's will and to know Him. So for today, I want to talk about the next area of the crucial area that we uh, need to put it in our heart and our resolution this year. And that is our greatest faith. You know, faith is so important. We have faith in many things, right? Some of us, we have faith in the government, and we should. We have faith in wealth, because it gives us security to know that, hey, money, wealth can give us a, a good future and security. Or some of us, we have faith in our families, and, and that should be. God gave us our families, right? to help us in times of troubles or difficulties, or just to comfort us and be with us when we need that support. Families are great. Or our faith could be with the church, the brothers and sisters that love us and care for us and are there for us to pray for us whenever we need it. Or our faith could be success this year, you know, you might be already achieving some success and you feel good and, and that's good. And you hold on to success. There are many things we put our faith, our confidence in. But for us as disciples going forward, 2021, this is our greatest faith. This should be our greatest faith. The thing that God wants in our life. Let me read Romans chapter 4, verse 1, 2, 3. What then shall we say about Abraham? Our forefathers, according to the flesh, discovered in this matter. If, in fact, Abraham was justified by works, he had something to boast about, but not before God. What does Scripture say? Abraham believed God, and it was credited to him as righteousness. The greatest faith. Believing in God. Our God. Trusting in Him. Being faithful to Him. You know, the Bible says here, Paul says in the book of Romans, what, what did Abraham, we all respect Abraham. We've seen how righteous, how godly, of a man he was as a prophet and patriot of our faith, and we want to emulate him. And as he journeyed in his own walk with God, he discovered something, that doing great works are great. But that's not what God delighted. God delighted the most is that Abraham trusted God at God's word. And when God said, Abraham, I will bless you. Through your seed, I will bless the nations. Your seed is the promised one. And Abraham, believe God. That's what the scripture says. Abraham, believe God. You know, this word believe is not just those simple, intellectual, superficial belief. Where you say, oh yeah, I believe. Do you believe in Jesus? Yeah, 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 I believe. 
you know, believe, do you believe in God? Oh, yeah, I know that God is out there. No, that, that's not the word believe here. The word believe here is about faith, that strong faith, that trust, that confidence. Abraham trusted God at his word. Abraham trusted God with his life. Abraham trusted God with his journey here on earth, that he surrender his life and he give it to God. Whatever you say, I trust. I believe. Do you believe? Do you believe in your Lord? As you go 2021, challenges will come. Difficulties will come. And hardship will come. And it's not easy. But do you believe that God is walking side by side with you? Holding your hands, guiding you through the life. Do you believe that when you pray, God is listening to you? Though the prayer might not be answered right now, or maybe He might not even answer those prayers because it might not be good for you, but do you believe that God loves you and, and cares for you? Jesus, the only way, the way of our salvation, do, do you believe that? That Jesus is the way. No other way. We need to learn to believe. Our greatest faith. It's not on all those things that we see around you. All those earthly things. Because one day, the marvelous buildings out there, my laptop, computer cup, sorry, cup, plants, great things. All will be gone demolish. But one thing that will stay forever, God, His kingdom, eternal life. Hold on to that. Really put your life, your trust, your confidence in God. And where you can say, over here in the scriptures, I believe God. Put your name there. Tech Ming, believe God at his word, and put his life, his trust with the Father in heaven. And when you do that, the Bible will say, and it will be credited to you as righteousness, because God is happy with you when you put your faith and your trust in him. Thank you, brothers, sisters, friends, for another Coffee Moments with the Father. I share with you three crucial areas to go with with God. The first one that I shared was our greatest boast. The second one, our greatest desire. And this one, last one, our greatest faith. Let's go on this year, 2021. Put it all before God and make it a tremendous success. And like what Paul said in the book of Philippians, let go. Forget. I brought back. Track back. Let go. Forget. Victories. Admire them. Enjoy them. But let go. Let those, those things, let not those things pull you back. But make this year, every day, a good year for yourself. So, I'll see you. Bye.